I'm Mike Hall with the latest Big Ten Blast here this Thursday late afternoon. There has indeed been a development from State College. Board of Trustees has asked interim head football coach Tom Bradley to keep assistant coach Mike McQuarrie off the field during Saturday's game against Nebraska. This according to the morning call. It should be noted the board made the request out of concern for McQuarrie's safety. The board does not plan to fire McQuarrie or ask him to step down. In that same vein, the Nittany Lions opponent Saturday, Nebraska, released a statement. This from Athletic Director Tom Osborne. I am saddened to learn of the recent events at Penn State, and we will continue to monitor the developments on the campus. We will hold the alleged victims and all those involved in our thoughts and prayers. We've had a number of inquiries from fans regarding the circumstances at Penn State and the conditions they might expect in attending the game. UNL Chief of Police Owen Yardley is in touch with the Penn State Police Department, and we have talked with Interim Penn State Athletic Director Mark Sherburn. We have visited with Penn State Security, and we understand they are enhancing their security efforts for Saturday's game and are taking extra precautions to ensure that all players, coaches, and fans are treated in a respectful way. We also appreciate that there is a student-led effort at Penn State to respectfully welcome Nebraska fans to Beaver Stadium and into the Big Ten Conference. We know that our fans will reciprocate and display good sportsmanship towards Penn State's fans and players. And because of the circumstances of the day, we have decided to have a special early presentation of BTN Live. It will be on air at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, and we encourage you to send us your tweets explaining your feelings on the issue, as our analysts will also give their perspectives while interacting with you, the fans. Also, there's news from Ohio State today. The university and the NCAA's enforcement staffs concluded their investigations into the remaining allegations from the August 12th hearing. In the university's statement it released today, it says Ohio State will self-impose a punishment of a five scholarship reduction over three years. This comes on top of the fact that the school has already vacated their wins from last season, as well as imposing a two-year probation period. Ohio State is still waiting on the Committee on Infractions to render its final decision. I'm Mike Hall. We'll see you back here at 6 Eastern, 5 Central Time.